take your Tammy Taylor brush, make sure Tammy's looking at you, face it towards you. You're going to dip into your liquid, into your dabbing dish, all the way in. We're going to start off getting a large ball, so we're going to use a lot of liquid. You're going to dip, wipe away from you, drag towards you in your powder. You're going to drag almost all the way through your powder, place with pressure, and lift. Count one, two, three. See how the product is moving for me? If the product is not moving, that means I don't have enough liquid. If the product was flowing too far out, it means I had too much liquid. Always wipe your brush before you go into your liquid. You're going to dip. Now when we wipe away from us this time, we're going to wipe halfway away from us on our brush and drag half of what we did before. We're going to place with pressure and lift. Count one, two, three. See how the product is starting to flow for us? Now let's get our small ball. We're going to go ahead and wipe our brush off. We're going to dip, wipe almost all the way away. Drag towards you in your powder, half of what you did before, lace with pressure, and lift. Count one, two, three. Always wipe your brush before you go back into your liquid. Now, you can see here on the powder, the drag patterns, large, medium, and small. Remember, when you're getting the liquid on a large ball, you need more liquids, so you're just going to wipe the tip, a medium ball, wipe halfway, and a small ball, wipe almost all the way off. So now let's do Tammy's famous four ball method. We're going to do our free edge. The free edge is going to be the largest ball. When you're working on the four ball method, the further up the nail you go, the smaller and wetter your balls are going to get. So you're going to dip into your liquid. Wipe away from you, drag towards you in your powder, but a place with pressure and lift. When you place with pressure, you're releasing that liquid from your brush. See how the product is flowing? We're going to go ahead and pat it across, push up the sides, push up the sides, wipe our brush, go back into your liquid, and we're going to work on the smile line. Start in the center, work our way side to side. Take a little bit more time when you're working on the smile line. You want your nails to look really happy. Happy nails make a lot of money because your clients are real happy to look at those. So we're going to work on that smile line. Beautiful. And then we're going to go ahead and push up our free edge. Okay? Make sure it's just the way you like it. Oh, wonderful. Now, once you've built your free edge, you want to make sure that there's a nice wall at the smile line. By having the wall at the smile line, that's going to prevent your pink from going over your white. The second ball, again, the further up the nail you go, the smaller and wetter the product is going to get. So you're going to dip in your liquid all the way in. You're going to wipe away from you halfway, drag towards you in your powder half of what you did before. You're going to place with pressure and lift. Let it flow. Count one, two, three, and feather stroke it out. And there you go. Wipe your brush. Dip. Wipe away from you. Again, smaller ball. Lace one thirty second away from the cuticle. Let it flow and stroke it out. Side, side, and center. Now, because we're going further up the nail we go, smaller and wetter the product is going to get, you want to make sure you always use the fourth ball. The fourth ball is your stress ball. That's going to go right in between your two and your three. It is going to be the smallest, wettest ball of the four ball method. Dip, wipe away from you, drag towards you, lace with pressure, lift, let it flow, and stroke it out, side, side, and center. Clean up your cuticle. Now, when you're working on the practice sheet, 
it's very important when you first start out to do approximately 50 nails on your practice sheet a day. When you're doing your practice sheet, you want to look at 10 nails at a time. By doing 10 nails at a time, look at your smile lines to make sure that they are all consistent. I have a nail challenge for you. Send in 50 practice sheet nails to your Tammy Taylor Company educator at Santa Ana, California. Lace one thirty second away from the cuticle. This look really happy. Happy nails make a lot. One, two, three. Contaminated, so I would remove. Helps keep your <coughs> really bright. So it's great for those clients that tan or like to be out in the sun a lot. A plus liquid is an amazing liquid to use. That can also be used with all of our powders, including our Prisma. But my personal favorite is Asset, and that's what I'm going to be using today. Asset, aka Summer Liquid, uh, is a slower setting liquid. And it's really awesome because you can use it year round. And it allows you a little bit more time to perfect your smile line when you're doing your pupil line. So I'm going to use Asset. I'm going to take my Asset liquid. I'm going to pour it into the black dabbing dish. I'm only going to pour enough for three to five nails. Every three to five nails, my liquid, again, will become a little contaminated, so I would remove and discard a funnel liquid and add nail. Now let's go ahead and talk about Tammy's practice sheet. Tammy's practice sheet is one of those tools that will help you. Only you can achieve beautiful balls to equal beautiful nails. And by practicing and practicing and practicing on your practice sheet, you'll be able to get the right consistency. Now let me share with you how to do that. Most of your clients will have a regular size nail. About 80% of your clients will have this size nail. So when you first start out, you're going to want to focus primarily on this nail on your practice sheet. That way you can achieve the right amount of product. Now, before you move on to the nail, we're going to start with our little circles here. We have a large, a medium, and a small ball. I'm going to show you how you can achieve that with your brush. Now, Tammy has three different brushes to choose from and two different styles. Today, I'm going to be using Tammy Taylor's large, flat brush. It's just my personal favorite. Tammy also has a <coughs> line. And they're all available in a small, medium, and large. Now, I just took my brush out. It has been cleaned with the Tammy Taylor brush cleaner. These brushes are handmade. They're made here in the United States, and they are amazing, amazing tools. So by keeping your brush clean throughout the day, rotating your brushes, and make sure you always have three brushes at your station. Keep your brush cleaner and your brush cleaner dabbing dish so you can clean it throughout the day as well. And the brush cleaner has conditioners. So it'll keep the bristles nice and clean. And you can see your Tammy Taylor brushes can last you a very long time. So you're going to take your Tammy Taylor brush, make sure Tammy's looking at you, face it towards you. You're going to dip into your liquid, into your dabbing dish, all the way in. We're going to start off getting a large ball. So we're going to use a lot of liquid. You're going to dip, wipe away from you, drag towards you in your powder. You're going to drag almost all the way through your powder, place with pressure, and lift. Count one, two, three. See how the product is moving for me? If the product is not moving, that means I don't have enough liquid. If the product was flowing too far out, it means I have too much liquid. Always wipe your brush before you go into your liquid. You're going to dip. Now, when we wipe away from us this time, we're going to wipe halfway away from us on our brush and drag half of what we did before. We're going to place with pressure and lift. Count one, two, three. <coughs> See how the product is starting to flow for us? Now, let's get our small ball. We're going to go ahead and wipe our brush off. We're going to dip, wipe almost all the way away. Drag towards you in your powder, half of what you did before, lace with pressure, and lift. Count one, two, three. Always wipe your brush before you go back into your liquid. 
Oops. Now you can see here on the powder, the drag powders, large, medium, and small. Remember, when you're getting the liquid on a large ball, you need more liquids, so you're just going to wipe the tip. A medium ball, wipe halfway, and a small ball, wipe almost all the way off. So now let's do Tammy's famous four ball method. We're going to do our free edge. The free edge is going to be the largest ball. When you're working on the four ball method, the first It's moving. Maybe it can move a little bit more. Ooh, that one came out good. Look at that one. See how I'm getting better, you see? <laughs> and then my little ball. Oh, that one looked a little too big. No! But it is moving. All right, so you're gonna dip, you're gonna tap, you're gonna grab a big line. I don't like the way it's on my brush. The only way I'm going to get better at this is if I practice. That's not better. Halfway. Oh, it's a little better. All the way. Oh, no. No, I want them all to look like that one right there. That one should have gone here. Oh, well, you just gotta keep practicing. So far, that's my favorite. Good 
Getting better. I don't like how it's on my brush. And I don't like how it's on there. better. Nice. So far that's my best one still. the nail you go, the smaller and wetter your balls are going to get. So you're going to dip into your liquid, wipe away from you, drag towards you in your powder, you're going to place with pressure and lift. When you place with pressure, you're releasing that liquid from your brush. See how the product is flowing? We're going to go ahead and pat it across, push up the sides, push up the sides, Wipe our brush, go back into your liquid, and we're going to work on the smile line. Start in the center, work our way side to side. Take a little bit more time when you're working on the smile line. You want your nails to look really happy. Happy nails make a lot of money because your clients are real happy to look at those. So we're going to work on that smile line. Beautiful. And then we're going to go ahead and push up our free edge. Okay? Sure it's just the way you like it. Oh, wonderful. Now, once you've built your free edge, you want to make sure that there's a nice wall at the smile line. By having the wall at the smile line, that's going to prevent your pink from going over your whites. The second ball, again, the further up the nail you go, the smaller and wetter the product is going to get. So you're going to dip into your liquid all the way in. You're going to wipe away from you halfway drag towards you in your powder half of what you did before. You're going to place with pressure and lift. Let it flow. Count one, two, three, and feather stroke it out. And there you go. Wipe your brush. Dip. Wipe away from you. Again, smaller ball. Place one thirty second away from the cuticle. Let it flow and stroke it out, side, side, and center. Now, because we're going further up the nail we go, smaller and wetter the product is going to get, you want to make sure you always use the fourth ball. The fourth ball is your stress ball. That's going to go right in between your two and your three. It is going to be the smallest, wettest ball of the four ball method. Dip, wipe away from you, drag towards you, Place with pressure, lift, let it flow, and stroke it out. Side, side, and center. Clean up your cuticle. Now, when you're working on the practice sheet, it's very important when you first start out to do approximately 50 nails on your practice sheet a day. When you're doing your practice sheet, you want to look at 10 nails at a time. By doing 10 nails at a time, Look at your smile lines to make sure that they are all consistent. I have a nail challenge for you. Send in 50 practice sheet nails to your Tammy Taylor Company Educator at Santa Ana, California. 
and we will send you a free gift. Make sure you put your name and your contact information, and we will have Tammy personally evaluate your nails. So practice, 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 and remember, beautiful balls make beautiful nails. This is no joke. I can still see the number there, so I'm going to put another little small. Nice. Okay, I kind of messed that one up. Can I fix it? Can I fix it? 
So we'll have to bust that out. No, running.
light one out. Okay, I'm going to re listen to that. Just like we did on the practice sheet. Place and lift. 
Pat it across. Pat it all the way across. Push up your sides. Push up our sides. Wipe our brush. <coughs> wipe our liquid. And we're going to work on our smile line. Start in the center. Work our way up the sides. We're going to bring our sides up. Make sure we don't have any room for error for cracks. Pat it all the way across. Make sure it's nice and even. Just the way you like it. And then push up the free edge. The free edge is always last because I can, of course, always be filed. But the free edge, again, is the foundation of the nail. So take a little bit more time to make sure it's exactly how you want it. And you have that nice little wall at the smile line so you don't have any paint going over the white. Awesome. Wipe your brush. Dip. Wipe. Drag, place with pressure, lift, count one, two, three, stroke it out, side, side, and center. Wipe your brush, dip, wipe, drag, place one thirty second away from that cuticle, and stroke it out, side, side, and center. Make sure we get in there and clean up our cuticle. The fourth ball is our stress ball. Dip, wipe, drag, lace, let it flow, and stroke it out. Side, side, and center. Wipe your brush. Kind of reprime. Make sure the primer is wet. In some cases, when you apply your primer the second time, it may dry. So make sure that it is wet so you could apply the primer three times if you choose. Place and lift. We're going to pat it all the way across. We're going to push up those sides. Push up those sides. Get all the way up in those corners. Wipe our brush. Dip into our liquid. And now we're going to get in here and make it a really nice smile line. Real nice and happy. Nice wall there. Tammy Taylor's acrylic products 